Welcome back, boys. Another EAFC content review on the channel. I'm Slater, and look at these beautiful, dynamic images. <laughs> Today's team of the week, man. Um, man, this game is so buggy. Uh, it's beautiful. It really is. You know, I was worried that when FIFA changed the AFC that we would get some polished, you know, beautiful um, game. And I'm really proud to know that EA have kept the same level of <laughs> just disaster all the time. Now, Grant, this is probably just a visual bug. It's not that bad. The menu glitching, something like that is definitely the worst. But we're going to dive into these content. Of course, new team of the week. We're going to dive into uh, a really controversial SBC that dropped today as well. Show you guys everything that happened in today's um, drop of EFC content. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Sub if you're new as well. Greatly appreciate it. And let's dive in to today's video. It's actually a really good team of the week. Um, it is kind of funny to look at these cards and kind of not know exactly who the player is that I'm supposed to be looking at. It is Cavaradona. Latar Martinez and Ali Watkins. Ali Watkins gets the premier upgrade alongside Martin Odegaard, Jude Bellingham, which is obviously a really big card. Um, I mean, this always this is all really really big stuff right here. Um, this is Orsellini. It's a little bit of a card as well alongside Grimaldo. Um, that's Anderson, Toby Alderweireld, uh, Teze, um, who looks like if he can be center back, looks like a really nice little card. Um, alongside Dia, who's in League Un, Hagen, McGee, Sorry. Oh, this card's a big card. Four or five. I've heard this card's really good in game. Um, Kunda Nanji. I don't know how to say the name, but I've heard this card's really good in game. That's a big ass, uh, big card to get. Uh, uh, Playa, Anderson Playa, or Andre Playa. I can't remember his first name. Alongside who I will never pronounce that in my life. And Suarez. Um, so there's a really new, good new team of the week. Cavaradona, who typically he's five far, he's five five, which is really really sweet. Um, he typically doesn't feel as good in game as you would hope he would, at least not last year. And I haven't heard any uh, glaring reviews of him yet this year. But he does have seven play styles and five star, five star. Um, Latar Martinez, another really big time card, who's four four, has a really nice looking card this year with great dribbling and great shooting stats. Um, Tyrone Mings, no Tyrone Mings. Oh my gosh, Ollie Watkins. I think EA's visual glitch has now made me a mess because <laughs> I can't. If I saw the picture, I would know exactly who it is. Uh, three star, four star, high high. Striker center forward, rapid, good shooting stats, pretty decent dribbling stats, low passing, and 94 stamina is nice as well. So a lot of really nice stuff here. Jude Bellingham, um, who is a sweet looking card, four four, high high, um, cam center mid. Um, some really just brilliant looking cards all around the pitch. So um, I think this is a really nice little team of the week, and a lot of cards that people are already using in their clubs, even as base layer cards, let alone um, getting additional. Um, cards in the game so really really nice stuff here from ea um, in terms of their new team of the week there are the headliners and all have beautiful dynamics i think this new car design for team of the week is the best they've ever had as well so i love everything about the look and feel of our new um, team of the week players we also have a very controversial spc i said this earlier in the video it's a it's a doozy man um we have a now a lone base icon player pick okay uh, obviously it's going to be hated by the community, understandably so. I will give you a reason why you can definitely do this and justify doing it, but we're going to dive in this video. Um, one of three base loan icons, icon loans. Now, granted, when you go on to Footband and you search loan, uh, or you search base icons, there are zero results. There are like only one iterations of icons in this game, so I'm going to assume that that applies to them. I can't get this to be done. It's too expensive for me to complete with the fodder in my club right now. Uh, but you have six days to do it for a 24 game loan and a one of three player pick. Um, you need 286s. I don't have 286s to get rid of in my club and an 84 overall team. So what I understand this to be, it's a 25k SBC. You know, I think everyone in there, you know, that's in the community is absolutely going to be livid that you would have a, a lone icon player pick, right? What I will say is this, you know, weekend league's coming up. A 24 game loan means, and I'm not a fan of people using loans in, uh, in weekend league. I actually like, I feel like I up my game when I see people using loans. Like it makes me pissed off that they do it. But I'm not you. You know, how you want to play the game is how you want to play the game. So 24-game loan would mean that you can get an icon player for your team for the entire weekend league. Now, you don't know who you're going to get, um, but that's essentially a 1,000 coins per game for an icon is their value. A 25K SBC, 24-game loan, right? You're essentially spending a 1,000 coins per game. If for you, man, it makes sense, which I totally understand, like, and you think you can maybe win one or two more games with a better player in your club, um... Yeah, I mean, if you think it makes sense for your club, dude, I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, you know, not to do it. I'm not. I'm. I'm worried what this means for this game moving forward. We now had a lone 
hero player pick and a lone icon player pick. And we had 99 game loans last year for players. So there's clearly an initiative from EA to move to lone players. But what I will say is there are many times in this game that you and I have probably done an icon SPC that costs 10 times the price of this, opened it, the player sucked, and we never used them use for a game. Right? So there is some understanding, in my opinion, of like where you could find value in this. Um, I get why the community would hate it. I don't like to set up content either, but I do see a scenario where this could be very, very valuable to you and could be the type of player that could get you, like I said, that maybe extra win or two wins you need in your weekend league run that could totally pay off the price of this SPC and much more, right? If you're getting to like the next metric, maybe you struggle to get to nine wins, maybe you struggle to get to 11 wins historically or 14 wins, and you get a card, if you get lucky, a card that really changes your team, that card could totally be worth the price of this SBC and a bunch more. So there is an ideology, at least where I can see that being something worth completing for your club. Um, last but not least, I want to show you theme per team pursuit. Pursuit two is out. Um, once again, just like the first one, but with different leagues, um, premier league, Turkish league, uh, women's, um, uh, sporting league in the United States and then first owner. So if you want to go ahead and get those done, go ahead and do it on the group award. You get yourself an 80 by five pack plus the internal packs, which the internal packs are kind of stinky. Um, but eighty by five, once again, could be a really nice pack for you. So there's the counter for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Good luck packing some new team of the week cards. They look sick. Uh, if you do the icon player pick, I'd love to know what people got in it. See what cards are kind of hitting more consistently. Thanks for watching boys. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.